Okay, so I tied everything together to complete the recovery system. Again, I have one week before our last launch of the spring at the uh, Hughes Seed Farm, which is a very large one mile square area. So I can fly some big stuff. I have my big Bertha. Uh, last time I flew it with the D16, I'm going to do the same thing. D16 in here puts it up at a very nice height. Uh, and I want to put in there a special recovery system. My looped streamer works really nice. It deploys, looks like a horseshoe, which was very, very interesting last time. I noticed that the flat part of the horseshoe, the top of it, was about the same width as the Kevlar cord. So it gave me an idea to, to do some more modifications. Uh, so my last video, I introduced this, which I call a parasol streamer. This is a 40-foot streamer. Uh, this cord now is 20 feet long. So let's see how I put the whole thing together. I have uh, the, the recovery cord connected to the swivel. I put an overhand knot in this, and the overhand knot allows me to attach a parachute. This is the same parachute that you're going to find in your Estes Alpha rocket. Its only purpose is to help stabilize the rocket so it doesn't whip around and tangle things. So this is just a small enough to keep it from falling too fast and also to have a little bit of stability. As we go further out in the cord, we get to this point where there's another loop knot. This loop, I've attached my parasol streamer. Uh, the parasol streamer, as you can see, both ends are right here. They go through this large cord. This cord is 20 feet long. All I do is push this cord end through the loop and then pull the streamer through, and it's instantly attached. So again, this is the beauty of using knots in a Kevlar recovery system. You can just put things together with knots and take them apart very, very quickly. Um, this is the rest of the cord. I think this original cord here was about five, maybe six feet long. I don't recall the exact length. Uh, but this is the uh, Kevlar cord that has to hold the streamer and the parachute together. And again, it's attached right at the nose cone because when you put that D16 in there, the initial acceleration uh, could shift the position, in which case it would make it go unstable. So we have to have some way to hold that streamer and parachute right at the top under high acceleration. So you can see this goes through it goes to the nose cone and it goes through this uh, eyelet on the uh, Kevlar felt here. Again, another Kevlar material, this time it's felt. Um, but this is the, the, uh, the quick swap type of uh, a connection that I showed before that this is already glued on here, but to attach it to this particular blank, I just push it through and then on the loop, I just pull the actual blanket through. So here it is, this is the recovery system. I'm hoping for some good weather. And this is gonna be very, very interesting. For my other Big Bertha, I have a larger streamer. This is 20 foot, four inches. This is 40 feet, two inches. Let's see which one works the best.